We're going to get started. We are now recording. It's a Tuesday night call. Welcome, welcome to the call. Hey, Hannah, good to have you on here. I don't know if you've been on a call with us before, but I'm excited for you to be on this one. It's going to be great. And welcome to the call, Barry. I hope we get to see everybody's faces and Holly and Chris. <clears throat> welcome to you too. It looked like you were walking in the woods a second ago. Daryl, you're in San Francisco, apparently up at Fort Mason or whatever it's called. No, I know. Um, anyway, it's Tuesday night and I'm really excited for our call tonight. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, maybe watching this on Facebook, I'm Nikki Cotton and Chris and I have been doing these calls for, I don't know, 15 plus years at least every Tuesday night. And it's really fun to be here. It's really fun to get people's reactions and let them watch and zoom in. Hi, Ella. But I'm um, in Kirsten, popcorn is happening. But we've got a really special call tonight and I'm really excited about it. And I'm gonna do just the introduction of these two incredible women. And then I'm gonna let them tell their stories and then get into dream making. They're gonna teach us a bunch about how we can follow our dreams in our heart. So I'm gonna introduce Heidi first. So I'm gonna pull you up first, Heidi. There, there she is. Ooh, and she looks so cute in that hat. So it's, this is so funny. So I met Heidi when um, the only job that she had at that time was being a hairstylist. And she's still a hairstylist today. When I put my list of things together to talk about for Heidi, the one thing I left off my list is that she's a hairstylist. I just think that's like so funny to me. But what I just really wanted to let you know is that how what I see in Heidi is I think she's the renaissance woman she's an artist she's a great singer she's a great dancer she's has been involved in a bikini contest she was a personal trainer um i think it's called a pom-pom gal one different than a cheerleader but some kind of pom-pom something streamers streamers, streamers. Just, I, and she did it for us one night in her living in our living room it was fabulous um and um she really is a lover of fun and she's probably one of the most positive people that I know. So you're going to get a, a good dose of uh, Heidi Fantastic Bigs tonight. And I am going to add in Leanne. Let's see, where are you? There she is. Um, add spotlight. And here's Leanne Schweitzer. She's a sales coordinator. I didn't say Heidi's a senior sales coordinator. There she is with Lila. Hi, Lila. Are you going to help out tonight? Yeah. Think you're going to help? Yeah, yeah you're going to help mom? I hope so. Um, and um, uh, Leanne is not only a yoga teacher, obviously a mom, a mom of some kitty cats. She's an incredible wife. Um, I love when I've taken yoga with her. She's an amazing teacher. She just sinks right in. She does such a great job. And um, I think what's just amazing about Leanne is in the last year and a half, she's made a commitment. Yeah, your mom, I'm talking about your mom. She has made a commitment to personal growth, unlike most people I know. She jumps in, she digs deep, she works on herself, and who she's become in the last year and a half is not who I knew when I first met her, I don't know, two plus years ago. So I'm going to turn this over to you. Each of you tell your story or however you've organized it, because we'd love to hear that, and take it away. Heidi. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Heidi, did she say your name? You say Whoa. Heidi. She said, she said Heidi. <laughs> oh, you did say Heidi earlier, huh? When we were on the phone. She <laughs> did. When are you going to say Nikki? Can you say Nikki? <laughs> okay, we don't need to do that now. I don't need to have my ego involved in this. Heidi, whoever's starting, let's go. Okay, so hi there. I am Leanne and I am in Bend, Oregon. And like Nikki said, I'm a yoga and meditation teacher. And I absolutely, I love what I do. I love my clients. I love sharing my passion and I love helping people. The problem is that teaching yoga, it doesn't pay very much. And when I do teach more than one to two classes a day, I'm left feeling completely drained, overworked, and I can feel my passion slowly start to fade. And so I've always had to have another source of income on the side to help balance the workload. But I'm curious though, have you ever felt completely overwhelmed? <laughs> like everything you've ever worked for is about to be taken away from you? Well, for me on March 13th of 2020, I was working remotely for a local tea company. I was teaching at multiple yoga studios around Bend when I found out that all yoga studios and all coffee and tea shops be forced to close. 
I stayed strong when I found out, but I was completely devastated. Thankfully, though, I had this plan B, this business on the side that has totally transformed my life. I dipped my toes in the mission and I started off very slowly, very worried of what people might think of me. My biggest fear was being judged. Slowly but surely, the more that I shared the concept. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> The more that I shared the concept of encapsulated fruits and veggies, the more I realized I was helping people get healthier and we need more of that now more than ever. And so I plan on taking these beautiful capsules forever and ever and ever because I have so much energy and I'm sleeping better and my nails are so thick now that I mix my bad habit of nail biting. I'm pooping daily on my own. And I used to think that pooping a few times a week was normal, but man, does it feel good to be regular. And last Oh my gosh, you can see her. She's just the healthiest kid on the block. And so I'm like, why not tell everyone? And I mean, everyone that I know. And so that's what I'm doing now because I love customer service and I love helping people get healthier. And not only that, I get to spend all my days at home with my beautiful baby girl and work my business on my own schedule. I have complete time freedom to be a present mama, which is what I, is, I have always dreamed of. And not only that though, this business... It's giving me the ability to dream about my future. And so that's what we're gonna get into tonight. Um, in doing this, this business has created an extra income source for us to very soon invest in a Sprinter van and travel and show Lila the world. And so fast forward to today, and I realized that this business was in fact exactly what I was looking for. And I love inspiring healthy living every day. Um, and so I just wanna start off by sharing about Jay Martin, our founder and president who is still at the, the helm today, um, his mission statement. So his mission statement is to build a stable and lasting company that helps as many people as possible realize their dreams, right? I'm going to say that again, to build a stable and lasting company that helps as many people as possible realize their dreams. And so when it comes to dreams, are, are you dreaming bigger, right? Very often as parents and just adults in general, right? When you have children, your dreams, they begin to stop and you focus on your kids' dreams, right? And so what if you didn't have to? What if you could fulfill both, both your kids and your own dreams, right? So what does dreaming big what what does it really mean right what are the what are some of those dreams that you hadn't thought of until now right you guys we are in the business where our paycheck is a direct reflection of the number of lives that we impact right and so let's talk for a minute about visualization what exactly what is visualization visualization according to the dictionary is the act of visualizing something to go a little deeper, it's forming a picture in your mind, right? Also known as imagery. It's almost like looking through a lens, right? Your unconscious, your imagination, your deepest desires, right? Visualization, it isn't something fluffy used by people who aren't living in reality. It's actually, it's quite the opposite. It's actually used by a whole array of people who know how to use it to bring about positive outcomes in their life, right? So there's many aspects athletes, including Olympians, right? They use it to excel in their sports. Um, and so I just want to share this quick little video clip about Jim Carrey and his experience with visualization. I'm going to share my screen really quickly. And Leanne, when you come back, if you can tilt your screen just slightly, you are so beautiful, but we're missing a little bit of your head. Yes. So if you can just tilt your screen more so we can see all of you, it would be perfect. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Okay, and you guys can see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. Didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995, and I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff, and... Uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make 10 million dollars on I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself. Like, 
visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's yeah, the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Wasn't that so powerful, right? <laughs> How cool is that? Um, and so why, why is visualization so Dear powerful? Dear exit strategy, Oops, no matter which time. Toyota you choose. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one um okay so visualization you guys it's so powerful because it helps to prepare and teach you how to respond to a situation before it actually happens right so it helps you to achieve your goals by conditioning your brain to see hear and feel the success in your mind right feeling the success in your mind is the most important part you gotta feel those emotions right and so does visualization does it actually work and so study studies show that visualization increases athletic performance by improving motivation, coordination, and concentration. Not only that, it also aids in relaxation and helps reduce fear and anxiety. And so in the words of one researcher, visualization helps the athlete just do it and do it with confidence and poise. And so by imagining, imagining what it would look like to live and feel out our goals, right? We can light up neuromuscular pathways, right? We create new uh, pathways in our brains that connect our brain to our muscles. And so in doing so, this can help our brain start to consider what it would feel like to have already achieved that goal. And so when done as a regular daily practice, visualization, it becomes second nature and it gets easier to craft effective visual representations. And so to get started with basic visualization. Um, just think simply about one of your goals for the future. Um, I find that it helps to try and visualizing your ideal life, right, one to three years from now, and then just close your eyes and try to imagine different scenarios that would occur if this goal were, your, were a reality for you. And so find the images that most excite you in your body and focus on those. And once you've gotten that clear, clear on the images that excite you and represent your goals, it's important to visualize them so often in your mind's eye to continuously trigger the power of your subconscious. And so I'm going to pass the mic over to Miss Heidi Biggs. Thank you, Leanne. So it's fun to see everybody's faces on the call. Thanks for joining. I, again, my name is Heidi Biggs and I am a hairstylist. I've been a hairstylist <laughs> for over 30 years and I love the fact that I get to help so many people and it's just in my nature to to help people and but the problem is with hair is that you know it's taking its toll on my body and my chiropractor was saying to me hey you need to go part-time and I was like well that's not going to pay the bills <laughs> and I tried having a shirt business and I tried other things and it just was not fulfilling for me and it was right around that same time that my husband Lloyd met Chris Carton on a way and he saw Chris catching every wave when everybody else was on the sand catching their breath and it caught his attention and he was just like it was one of those situations where he was like I want what he's having <laughs> and um, then so then my husband came home and shared that with me and I shut him down I had every network marketing company approach me wanting me to join them that I was burnt out by network marketing to be honest but then I would he took me to hear two doctors speak that was Dr. Du Bois and Dr. David Phillips and hearing their take on how nutrition on a cellular level really impacts you just blew my mind. And I knew that I instantly had to try it. So thanks, Chris and Nikki, for being persistent with me as well. I got to thank them for that. Um, but I'm really glad that um, I did because overnight, I so before Juice Plus, I was literally going to the bathroom maybe once or twice a week. Now I go every day, two to three times a day. That's my norm. It's been my norm ever since. So it's truly life-changing. Also, allergies have gone away and my life has just been changed forever. And for those of you that are new, um, if you think that I'm confident on this, I'm shaking like a leaf. And when I first started like you, I couldn't even put my hand up to um, answer a question on Zoom. So you'll get there. <laughs> and if you say yes, when your body says no, it'll do you a great service. So let's get back into this dreaming. What does dreaming big mean? Well, to me, dreaming big 
dreaming bigs. Oh my God, dreaming bigs. <laughs> dreaming big <laughs> means having the mental freedom to really think about what you really want out of life and forget about all the reasons why you can't make it a reality. Like, you know, using dreaming big to really motivate yourself to see the bigger picture of what you really want out of life. And if I had, if my husband Lloyd had listened to me and all the reasons why I wanted to stay in England 16 years ago, and I didn't hear the long list of reasons for why we should move here, then I would, we would still be in England and our lives would be very different. Def Lloyd probably would definitely have not had that meaning, um, would not have met Chris on that wave. So why is visualization so powerful? Well, some of the time you don't even realize you're doing it. When you get into the habit of doing visualization, you'll, it'll become a muscle that just, you cannot switch off. It's just, you're just constantly seeing those visual reminders of the goal. Kind of like when, like, just say you, that you've got a dream of a car that you want, all of a sudden you're gonna see those cars on the freeway, right? That's how your subconscious mind works. It just stays, will stay focused on that girl because, goal because it doesn't know the difference between um, what, it, what has happened and what hasn't happened yet. So you really do have the power to create that. That's where vision boards are very um, good too. They're also they're a great way to see your goals and develop the mindset to really reach them on a daily basis. So when it comes to, um, we're going to do a really short dreaming exercise. And that's the whole reason for everyone bringing a notepad and a pen. So if you don't have them handy, I'm going to really encourage you because you're going to really, you're going to want to document what you're thinking about. So please go get your notepad and pen. And then I'm just going to give you one, you know, just a few seconds to quickly grab that. And I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, when I ask these questions, I want you to really just go for the first thing that you think of. Don't overthink this. Just really, like, really come from your heart and whatever you're thinking about in that moment, that's what you're supposed to be thinking about. So have a really open heart, really open mind and just write down really quickly. You're only gonna get a few seconds to write down these answers. But I wanna get everyone started just by like getting really comfortable in your chair, shrug your shoulders a few times, just get really relaxed. And okay, when we're ready, is everybody ready? Ready? Okay, everyone put your hand on your heart right now and then close your eyes. Feel that heart beating in your chest and take a really long, deep inhale through your nose. And then the long, deep exhale through your mouth. Again, a nice long inhale through your nose. and out through your mouth. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now I want you to think about your Juice Plus check that you have. And if you knew you may not have a check just yet, but that's okay. But if you have a check and you're having that monthly income, I want you to think about that number. Now I want you to add, close your eyes and really visualize adding another $500 to that check. And I want you to imagine what would you do with that extra money? Where would you go with that extra money? Who will be with you? And how does that make you feel? Again, I'll ask those again. You're gonna get 20 seconds to write this down what were you going to do with that extra income where are you going to go who's going to be with you and how do you feel okay i want you now to Put your hand on your heart again and take a deep breath in and out. Now with that number in mind, I want you to just now think of an extra $1,500, add $1,500 to that number. Again, what are you gonna do? Where are you going to go? 
Who are you going to be with? And how does that make you feel? Okay, now to that number, we're going to go a little bit higher. Now I want you to, again, close your eyes for a second and imagine adding another $5,000 to that paycheck, your juice plus paycheck. What is that going to do for you? What are you going to do with that money? Where are you going to go? Who will be with you to enjoy that with you? And how does that make you, and maybe even the people around you, how does that make them feel? Okay. So now we're getting to some other bigger numbers and it may cause a little anxiety because I know it did for me when I did this exercise a few years ago. So take another deep breath, put your hand on your heart, another deep breath in and out. Now you're going to add $15,000 to that number. How do you, what do you do? Where are you going to go? Who's going to be with you? How do you feel? Okay. Now the last one, hand on your heart, deep breath in and out. Now I want you to add to that number $25,000. I'm going to give you a little bit longer now because I really want you to be dreaming and thinking really big about what you're going to do. So we're going to give you 30 seconds starting now. Let's go. How do you feel? Where are you going? $25,000 on top of your Juice Plus check. How is that impacting your life? Five more seconds. Okay, how's everyone feeling after, after doing that? Rich. <laughs> All right, pretty fun, huh? So um, I know we are running short of time and I know we're going to wrap this up real quick, but I would love to call on a couple of people, one, one or two people just to kind of hear, you know, what it is they wrote down. So, and I'm thinking we should maybe choose someone that's been in this business for a while and somebody that's new. So I'm going to pick someone new. I'm going to call on someone that I don't know. I've not spoken to yet. So let's see, who do we have? Hannah, are you in a place where you can talk? Yes, it's a little dark in here, but but I can see no you. No problem. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hannah. Where, where do you live, Hannah? New Mexico. Cool. Welcome. Yeah. Nice to see you. So um, with this exercise, I'd love to hear like, what came up for you? Was there anything that you're really excited that you wrote down or a particular number that really spoke to you? Um, well, first off, I have to say that I was a little bit confused. I didn't know if I was supposed to be sitting with my eyes closed the whole time or actually writing down. <laughs> so I took a couple notes and I didn't write anything down. But um, so for the, the first couple things that came up, um, you know, with $500, my mind kind of went like, well, I, I have like a little bit of a side hustle that I have this 
extra money to I'm at, you know, adding extra money to my account, but I'm currently 19 weeks pregnant. So any little bit of money that I, you know, think about or make, I'm like, oh, okay, well, there's a car seat or there's right. Like all of these things. Um, but then once we started to get into the bigger numbers, it was like travel came up. Thank you, Nikki. Um, (laughs) travel came up, um, being, being around people that I love, being able to share the experiences with people that I love. Um, and it would make me feel like I was able to probably give back, you know, and share the experience. That's awesome. That's what for me. Congratulations, first of all. And um, how cool that, you know, that extra money will be able to really help you out with getting all the things that you need for that baby. And it is cool that when you get to those bigger numbers, it, how like it suddenly starts going from like being more about you and the things that you need to being about other people and what you can do for them and how, you know, you can impact their lives. So that's really cool. Thank you for, for being brave. And, and, and um, I apologize for not being very clear and us telling people, yeah, now's the time to write down. <laughs> it's okay. I was, just, I was enjoying the moment of sitting with my eyes closed and then I opened my eyes and I saw other people have their eyes closed. So I just was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So <laughs> I'm just going to visualize. Thank you, Hannah. Okay. Thank I think Leanne, we have time for one quick question. Then we got to wrap up. So, okay. I would love to hear from Wendy, if you're open to sharing. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just have to tell you, Heidi, I'm feeling a little emotional right now after this exercise. I don't know if anybody else is, but I totally am. (laughs) And I feel a little, not embarrassed, but I can't believe I'm like tearing up. Um, It made me, it really made me hopeful and um, just blessed at the vision that I see myself heading towards. Sorry, I'm (laughs) I'm such an emotional mess. I know a few of you have heard my story. I've had a few miscarriages and um, thinking about what the extra money could do for me and my health and my family. I don't know. This was for me, it was, sorry. It was an amazing exercise. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, dreaming big means that you're tapping into those emotions and those feelings. So thank you so much for for being vulnerable and sharing and I- <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and my husband's gonna be like what happened <laughs> be like babe I was dreaming big <laughs> yes yes you did great thanks Wendy you know when you when we have that emotion attached to our dreams and our goals that's what makes it that much more real and if you yes. can hang on and cling on to that you know it's gonna be really really powerful okay so I've got a few more things that I did want to share so we may go up a little bit over Nikki I'm afraid Um, With everything that we've got written down, it's really good. I talked about earlier about having that as a visual. So seeing them, seeing your dreams in colorful pictures is really powerful, you guys. Like actually having them like as pictures or words or colors sublimely on a vision board, on a dream board is really powerful because you see them every day. And like I said earlier, like the, your brain does not recognize the what's happened already to what is in the future. And so If we can think of one thing in your business right now that can really help you reach those goals that you're not necessarily doing or, you know, you're new, you maybe need, you know, a little bit more coaching or if you're seasoned and there's just one thing like three-way calls or follow-ups that you maybe are not doing quite so often as you should. What I'm going to encourage you, and this is Leanne and I talked about this, and we encourage you to make a plan to do that often, more often. Do it every day if possible. Find an accountability partner to share that with so that they can help keep you accountable for that work that's going to help you get to those dreams and those goals. Find someone, Brené Brown talks about the little two inch by two inch um, piece of paper to put the five or six people on that list that you would, that you trust. And those names can change over time. But find those people that are in that circle of trust and share your dreams with them. Share what you need to be doing to achieve those goals as well. And, you know, if it wasn't for my heat team buddies and other sideline buddies and my husband and Chris and Nikki, you know, I 
probably wouldn't have been stayed on track to, you know, achieving some of my goals. If you, um, I mean, imagine if you have a goal of writing a book, imagine seeing that, imagine walking through the airport and your book's on the shelf of a New York bestseller. Can you imagine like seeing that for the first time ever? I know I would be getting my phone out, FaceTiming everyone I could think of or doing a video like, ah, look, I'm on. <laughs> I know, that's just who I am. Well, then you got to then think about those daily steps, those daily activities that need to be done to get there, those little small steps. And it's the small steps that create those giant leaps, right? So if your goal is to follow up more and imagine having those conversations and if you're getting the no's, just keep going with those no's until they become yeses, because you know, every, every no you're going to get, you're getting closer to those yeses. And tonight, also, we want to encourage you to start a new nightly routine. So Leanne enlightened me to this, the um, Wayne Dyer's book, um, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. And in that, he shares that the last two minutes before you fall asleep at night are the most powerful. And they're the most powerful because those thoughts stay in your subconscious mind for up to four hours while you're sleeping. And so if you could make those last two minutes before you go to sleep at night, I know I read affirmations before I go to bed at night. Um, so that's always in my unconscious mind when I'm sleeping. But I'm thinking I'm going to change this to actually listing my goals out and actually visualizing those dreams that I have, like my next car, my Tesla. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to visualize when I go to bed at night, those last two minutes. So I encourage, we're going to encourage you to spend those two minutes really picturing the images that you have written down, those, that whatever you've written down, like imagine, have that vision that it's becoming your reality, even live it like it's happening right now. And then I want you just, just think about all of those goals that you've already fulfilled in your life. Like they deserve, you deserve to celebrate those as well. And lastly, I just wanna just say that we believe in you, Leanne and I, we believe in you. And we just hope that you can believe in yourself because we know that you're capable of great things in your life, in your lifetime. There are amazing things that only can be created if you first believe that they can, and then you take action. And when you take action, anything is possible. Yay, thanks Heidi, thanks Leanne, really good job. I wanna say real quickly, it was a great training. And Wendy, I just wanna add, you know, when, when we become vulnerable like that, I'm hoping that, I, I have learned that when I cry and get emotional now in front of people, I don't apologize. It's just there, it's your feelings. And it's a moment that you can honor yourself and we get to honor your vulnerability. And it really is a gift for everyone around you to be able to actually feel someone else's emotions like that. So I just really wanna thank you and let you know that this is the perfect place to um, feel your feelings, especially like this. So thank you for you being you in this moment and not holding yourself back. It was uh, really important for us to be with you and see that. And um, just amazing job, Heidi and Leanne. And we're going to close up to seven o'clock. We have a Take Healthy Back call, which we have every Tuesday night at seven o'clock. It's a great thing that you'll hear at least three good stories um, about our mission, our products, why we do what we do, who we are. It's a great one to invite people too. So if you're looking for events every Tuesday night, every Saturday morning, we also have some other ones that our team does. So check the team events Voxer group because you'll see all the events going on all the time if you're on that group. So what I would love for all of you to do is unmute yourself and just in, oh, Chris needs to say something. <laughs> Always got to say something. Uh, ladies, you rocked it. I just want to congratulate you both. And I love all these uh, beautiful faces. Uh, Wendy, thank you for being you. Congratulations. And, um, you know, I'm sitting on the dock of the, of the lake house, uh, which at one time was just a dream. So uh, just a rock and training and, and thank you for bringing it. Yeah. And then I might add one thing. Well, Come before you up. add that, wait, before you add that, Chris, if you're going to close, I have to say uh, one Thing and I forgot it. So go ahead. <laughs> well, you were going to ask everybody to unmute, weren't oh, you? Oh, right. After Chris says what he says, which is how we end up every uh, event, 
but um, unmute yourself and just give a word of love, whatever that looks like to Leanne and Heidi. So Chris. Heidi, why don't you start? To me? Yeah. I don't think she knows what you want, hon. Oh, come from love? Yes. And keep the love flowing. And keep <laughs> the love flowing. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Love you guys. Good night, everybody. Thank you. It was an incredible training. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Woo. Good night, everybody. Good night, Facebook. Good night. Good night, recording. <laughs>